Welcome to Cortex Engineering Software Learning Block. In this video, we'll look at how we can create isometrics in three easy steps. So, these are the three easy steps to create isometrics. So, let's look at each of these steps. The first one is to create isogen styles. We're going to use Smart Plan I Configure 2014 to create isogen styles. It's very user friendly and nice to use. So, let's look at how we can use this. So here I have Smart Plan I Configure. So first thing I need to do is I need to set up a project. So I just go File New Project. And here I need to give a name to the project. I'm going to use Cortex as a project name. And it comes with the predefined styles that I can use. That helps me to speed up the process. So once I have selected all the styles, it will create all the styles for me. So as you can see that it has created nine different styles that I can get started with. So let's move to step two, which is modify isogen styles. Pretty fun styles are very good to start with, but sometimes we need to modify those styles. So let's look at how we can modify these styles. So I need to click on edit and it opens up a new isogen configuration panel. First, I'd like to change the units of the dimensions from metric inch to metric metric so all the lengths and everything will be in metric as well as all the pipe sizes will be in metric too so all I need to do is I need to expand unit panel and I select metric metric and I select save and I go back to the main panel next thing I like to do is I like to set the font to ISO CP3 so here I go to text and settings and here I select the font I like to select ISO CP3 and save. You can also search settings using the search dialog box. So I like to search settings for Valve. So rather than browsing through all the menus, all I can do is I can use the search box. Type Valve. What it does basically, it gives me all the settings related to Valve. So here I like to change the settings of Valve dimension. So I expand that. So for flange valve, I like to measure that to the center rather than end to end. This is just an example. You can do whatever the settings you prefer to do. Let's look at the title block. So to do so, I need to go to drawing setup tool. And it gives me a nice outlook for the my title block. I can adjust the drawing area. I can readjust. And once I'm happy with that, I can move to the next one which is a material list. I can add a new columns to material list here. So currently I have five columns, but if I need to add any columns at the end or in between, I can simply click on add attribute and we'll add a new column there. I can adjust the width, I can adjust the location. If I need to delete any one of the column, I just need to simply select that and click on delete and we'll delete that. Similar to that, I can add attributes or I can reposition attributes. So it's very user friendly. In this case, I do not like to save changes. I can click on exit. And that's how we can modify our isogen styles. So now this isogen style is ready to use with my 3D model. Isogen is an engine that can be used with a range of intergraph. 3D design suites such as Smart Plant, PDS, or CADWorks. In this example, I'm using CADWorks as an example. I'm going to create isogen. I can do batch ISOs where I select multiple line numbers or I can select one line. In this case, I'm selecting Final Basic, the style that we just created. I'm selecting line number from the list. So I'd like to select that line number to create isometric. And within a few seconds, it will create industry standard looking isometric with all the settings that we applied including the font so it has a nice looking bill of material here with part number size item code description and quantity i can also look at the drawing it has nice labeling on all the components as well as the annotations for the dimensions it also identifies the connection point to the vessel 
So as you can see that we have managed to create industry standard isometrics within three easy with three easy steps.